This video is made for an adult audience. Hey Brick fans, welcome back to the Brick Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked. I'm Jacob and today it's time for a full LEGO City update. Over the last few videos I've gotten a lot of great suggestions for details and modifications for my LEGO City and today I thought I'd get around to do all of them, or as many of them as I can at least. And I'm also going to implement the diner, modular diner in my LEGO City. So without further ado, let's get over to New Bakersville. Some cleaning up is definitely in its place. There's a lot of mess over here and over here as well, you see much mess and the diner is in the wrong place and the roads too so there's a lot of stuff to be done i'll both look into updating the city with the new roads and also be looking into sort of finishing off this the ninjago build so uh yeah lots of stuff to do and uh, no time to delay on we go So as you can see, I've removed all the old road plates to replace them with the new custom ones that I made in my last video. I also have some ideas for, shall we say, rearranging the city. I want to move the uh, railroad station up here so I can actually have the railroad going all the way around the city because I found I, out I have some old 9 volt train tracks lying around that I want to use temporarily for the rest of this and these modular buildings should of course be moved elsewhere as well but my first sort of uh, item on the agenda is to remove move the railroad station because that one really takes up a lot of space and is also very sort of decisive for what I'll do with the train tracks so um, I'll be moving that one first or actually I'll be moving that into place first the other ones will be moved as well but won't be in their place I've moved stuff around and it's looking more and more city-like, I think. Narrow streets, many buildings, all that good stuff. The railroad station in the back. Of course, it's a bit hard to see what's going on back there, but that's how it's going to be for now. Eventually, I will make a raised section back here for the modulars and have some more custom build areas down here. But that's way off in the future for now. This is how it's going to look. And as you might know, I've got plenty of room that way to expand the city even more. And that is, of course, the idea. But for now, this is where I'm at. And uh, yeah, got to connect the train tracks and such and uh, see if I can get that train going all the way around and passing the train station as well. Maybe it's going to be a bit hard to reach, but I think I can manage. I managed to put a train track all around the city and that's pretty amazing in my eyes. I don't think I'm not sure I ever had such a complete train track around a city like this. Oh, I did have a complete train track, of course, but around a city like this, this is a dream coming true. Oh, almost getting a bit touched. Well, that's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna try this train and have it go on its inaugural round trip of the city. Here we go, trying it out. Let's go train. I said, let's go train. Oh, come on train, there we go. <laughs> Success! It's coming back round, and what if you speed up a bit? Can we speed up a bit? Did I speed up? I have no idea. This speeding up. Ooh, exciting. It is hitting that sweeper over there, but other than that, this is great. Love it! To get everything to fit, I have put in some uh, 16 by 32 base plates back here, and I'm thinking that should be a park, a small park, a small oblong park, the length of the train station, which would be cool, I think. But before I get to that, 
I'll have a look on this right over here, the Ninjago building, because there's still some details that need to be done. For instance, I need to add the sidewalk tiling and maybe some, you know, some tables with different kinds of wares outside. I need to move these, uh, what do you call them? Lanterns up a bit because this looks a little weird. And there's also a lamp in the back, which I need to move as well. Detailing on the inside is something I will begin. I'm not sure how far I'll make it today, but definitely I've got to add something to the interior and to the top up here. There was a suggestion that I make a bonsai nursery uh, in this building and I thought that could be fun to have on the lower floor. So I've added some small sort of sprouts out here and inside there should be small bonsai trees uh, ready, to, uh, ready to be sold off. Um, I do have some ideas on how to do this but uh, we'll see how it works out. I recently got these plant pieces and to my mind they do look a little bit like a uh, bonsai. Yeah, if, if done right, I think, you know, this right here looks like a planted bonsai and one that's a little older, a bit more mature, made from one of these classic pieces and this leaf as well. So these will go inside here. I'll arrange them on some tables. I also got a bunch of these, uh, which is sort of a, um, cash register and I thought that would be very fitting in here so yeah a small uh, you know a small desk for that and uh, a shop owner type person and of course all these flowers put on small tables around the place I think that'll look good this is how it turned out uh, plants in the middle and plants along the side not much to it not much detailing but I think I like this sort of quick and dirty approach because I'm not sure the insides will ever be visible sort of very much even if I light them up there's uh, limited visibility because these windows here aren't too great for looking inside so I think this is all right and uh, I'll be adding a small uh, florist type person right here he'll be standing right here and uh, cutting some flowers and I'll add a couple of patrons too. On the next floor up right here I thought I would be adding a dojo um, or at least some kind of you know uh, martial arts place where people can uh, can work on their martial arts skills maybe have a big mat or just a couple of um, jumper plates for uh, some minifigures to stand and uh, do their karate or brick foo or whatever they do um, right here. That would be cool. And maybe hang some weapons, uh, some martial art weapons on the wall as well. That might be cool. I made this weapons rack right here, which should be going on this wall over here. So it'll be hanging on the side, which is quite cool. I like this. I was thinking maybe doing something like a pyramid shape, but there's just not enough room on this wall to do that with these long weapons. And the, uh, the katana swords are too wide as well, but maybe these can be used for the practicing that's going on there in the middle. So yeah, I'll be adding this to the wall and then maybe some minifigures in here as well. There we go, two fighting minifigs in the dojo. Now, these are actually two female uh, minifigs. Maybe a bit hard to see with those caps on, but it is actually two female uh, minifigs doing battle in here. Maybe uh, doing some workout for their next ninja adventure. Who knows? On we go to the next floor.
I'm thinking there should be an apartment in here. I made this small kitchenette which is rather nice. I'm gonna add a bed maybe and a television and maybe a, a comfy chair. Um, and then I'm on to the next floor. There we go. This is the small apartment. We've got the kitchenette over here, small seating area. You can eat and such. Of course, there is the bed right here lovely yellow cover and a television standing right there. So of course flat screened so yeah and on we go no i think i'll be adding one or two minifigs in here but other than that i need to go to the next floor Because of the round window that's up here, I think this floor should be some kind of business tycoon uh, sort of headquarter offices. So I made this desk with some uh, uh, letters on it and a computer, a bit of an old timey sort of 90s style, uh, small desk lamp and such. And I think that's pretty cool. It sort of evokes uh, some cyberpunkness, which I think goes very well with the round window. So I'm gonna put this uh, about here or just about here of course the tycoon that's going to be sitting there is going to has, have his back against the window which really means he's in power maybe i'll add some bookcases or something like that but again i like to keep this minimalist uh, with the interior because i'm not sure it's ever going to be seen again and doing too much work with something that's not going to be seen again isn't too much fun but um, some amount of detailing is good. And uh, yeah, I think this idea of the office is, is pretty neat. All right, I decided to make this sort of an archiving cupboard thing uh, where the tycoon can store all the important data sheets and such. And of course, a little Decoration up here, samurai or katana sort, and that should go up here, of course, like this. That's pretty good. And now I think I just need the tycoon. Here we have the tycoon and a couple of her henchmen ready to do her bidding. I think this is pretty cool. I like the sort of James Bond-esque idea of these completely covered in black. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna add this crown on a stand in here for some kind of, I don't know, maybe it's sort of eyes on the prize thing, or maybe it's something, uh, and precious, a precious artifact that was acquired in some way, shape or form. Who knows? Although I haven't added a staircase up here, I may make a sort of faux door and then add a yoga class up here. I'm gonna add a yoga class anyway because I think that's a, that's a fun idea to have a bunch of minifigs standing up here doing some kind of Tai Chi or yoga or something like that because um, yeah, that could be fun. So I'm gonna add something like that up here and uh, then I consider this uh, to be done. There we go, a group of people doing yoga on top of the, or Tai Chi, I don't know what this is in particular, but a group doing that, uh, this guy seems to have a bit of difficulty. And of course there is a uh, yoga master Tai Chi teacher doing his stuff right here. This is of course a faux door. There isn't really anything that leads anywhere beneath this, but I thought it would be interesting or look good if there was a door that seemed like it could actually be the access to this roof. That seems to make sense to me, I think. So yeah, this is now done and all I need to do is put it into the city. There we go, that's the Ninjago building finished and in the city. 
this is not the sort of permanent display area. This is not where it's gonna be forever. But for now, this is looking good. I've, I've, I've added the Lego store here beside it to just sort of cap off everything. I think that looks good. And I've also rearranged the city just a bit. Uh, put some sets in different places. I'll give you some uh, glamour shots at the end. But for now, I have important business to attend to based on some of the suggestions that I got from you folks. That is this right here. This is a spot I left open when I was making these custom roads. And I had a suggestion to add a statue and an advertisement right here. And I was actually thinking maybe I can use some of these custom printed bricks and tiles here which i've got from different kind of lego folk very cool maybe this can do something here i don't know and i was also suggested or i in part of one of the suggestions we talked about whether or not i could use the brick bakery cake logo as part of a sort of 3d advertisement or something like that so i think i'm going to put this here and uh, i've got a similar uh, one of these down that away and maybe I'll add this down there in some way. So um, yeah, I'm gonna work on this. That, did, did, that, that. There we go, that's a statue commercial city sign in the middle of the square about. I think this is pretty neat. And I like the fact that I can actually turn around. If I were a little more adept in uh, making technique stuff, I could have maybe probably make this turn all the time, but um, I'm not, and this is how it's gonna be. So yeah, and I'm gonna add something uh, down there as well. It's gonna be great. So I have an idea of making these into two signs. They can sort of turn round and round, and uh, maybe make them in a style that sort of fits the diner by making some curvy stuff uh, and such. So yeah, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna show you folks what I mean. All right, here we go. Uh, a small sort of advertisement sign with, uh, with all my custom printed bricks and tiles incorporated into and of course it's going to go down there in that oh, in that end i put on some lamps for uh, lighting <laughs> because uh, lights are needed there we go that's the advertisement put in and i like how this matches with the pool sign so i think this is uh this is time where I queue up some glamour shots and uh, I'll see you folks for a sign off.
And that's all for my LEGO CD today. I hope you enjoyed this. I really think I've gotten a hold of a lot of great details. Thanks to you folks. Great suggestions as always. And if you have any further suggestions or ideas for my LEGO City, I'd love to hear them. This layout is not the finished layout in any way. This is just temporary until I get to the point where I can actually start implementing the idea I actually have of the layout. If you want to check that out, I should put, I am putting, I'm gonna be putting, I will be putting a link either, I, I never, I can't remember ever which corner it is. It's one of these. And there should be a link for that LEGO City update where I sort of tell you about the plan I have. But that is all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.